Okay, so I'm going to show how to open up a Dell Inspiron 1 2320 so that you can replace the hard drive or upgrade it to an SSD. So first, let's see. So first, there are six screws on the bottom. There's one next to the foot here. They're all Phillips screws. You can use a PH1 or a slightly larger one. Just make sure when you're opening it that the screwdriver stays in the bit so it doesn't strip out the screw. So there's one one in the corner there, one here, one here, one here, one here, and another one on this corner. So once you get all of those screws out, what you want to do, just pull on the corner here, like this, pull on it. Might be a little tough, don't be afraid, just yank on it. There's one there, this there, then you can go around. Go around this side, get to there. This part, the back is a little bit more tough. Um, I can I use like a tool. You can use like a um, pry tool or butter knife or something like that. You just go around and kind of twist it a little bit. It'll pop up like that. Just go around the edges and twist it. This is like a frosting tool. Um, but yeah, I don't use it for frosting, I use it for this. So you just go around. Don't insert the tool too far, you just want to um, go around just to get the clips released. So just go all the way around, pry it. Once you get all those clips, once you get all those clips released, <coughs> then you should be able to lift up on the lift up on it here, like this. Um, you'll need to use a lot of force because there's a clip here, here, and here. Um, it's also, you have to use a lot of force just to put it back in place. You just smash it down real hard. So you just pull on it. It'll pop out like that. You just wiggle it out. Remove that. And you got the hard drive here. So I'm going to replace it with an SSD. Um, if you want it to be a snug fit, you can use a... Um, uh, mounting bracket to make the SSD like uh, the same size as uh, one of these regular three and a half inch um, SATA drives. So basically you're just going to replace it with another one. Um, so lift that up. Uh, this is going to be tough with one hand but basically just pull on this. Like that. Okay. Then there's four more Phillips screw driver screw bits here. Um, just remove those. So these you won't need um, because if you're going to put an SSD, um, these don't fit on the SSD. So I'm going to take those out and then I'll show you in a bit. Okay, so once you get the screws out, you just slide the hard drive out like this. The hard drive, you can either take it to e-waste if you're worried about your data, you can like smash it up or something. The discs inside are made of glass, so they'll shatter. Just be careful with them if you take it apart more. Um, then you just grab another SSD. Um, since this has no moving parts, you don't have to worry about it being shaken around. And also, it's just going to be sitting there since it's a desktop. The four screws, um, usually it's a good idea to save them just in case you ever put back a large hard drive. So I have like a little Ziploc bag, I just put it in. Do that. Okay, so once you got them in this uh, little Ziploc bag, I just use some tape. <laughs> and then I'll just stick it here for safekeeping. That way if you ever need them again, they'll be there. Alright, then you plug the SSD in. Just make sure the pins line up. Attach it just like the old hard drive. Okay. Once you get the hard drive connected, you just put it into this caddy. Slide it over. Make sure the the bracket goes into those grooves at the bottom. And then you just slide it. Um, the screw hole should line up. Put the screw back in, and you're pretty much good to go. Reinstall the OS, or if your hard drive was working and you're doing an upgrade, you can clone it beforehand. Um, yeah, so make sure clone it beforehand, 
otherwise you'll have to install the OS um, from scratch. Yep. And then underneath, if you wanted to upgrade the RAM, there's this door. You just pull on this. You can upgrade the RAM. There's only one in this one. There's also the wireless card, but that you'd have to take this whole thing apart. Let's see here. What else is there? Then underneath here, they put a little grill so you can see the processor and the heat sink. But to change any of that, you'd have to take this whole thing apart. So anything other than these small components you can change the cd drive too if you wanted you can upgrade this to a second hard drive slot if you wanted to have both an ssd and a secondary hard drive for storage um, but yeah that's pretty much it you just put the cover back on the same way you took it off you'll have to put a lot of pressure because these clips uh, on the back of the case are difficult to get in but other than that uh, it's pretty simple straightforward Remove screws, remove the caddy, take out the screws, take out the drive, put a new one, and that's it.